Madison Bell, German Shepherd. All right, so today we're gonna to be doing what everybody would like to know about their dog, is we're gonna be testing Neela. She's a Dutch Shepherd. She's done multiple training in the field. She's uh, will work the sleeve, the suit, hidden sleeve, she'll work it all. But today is a scenario base. We're gonna be actually trying to do a break and entering, home invasion, robbery into Amber's house, and surprise Neela and Sasha off guard. They don't know I'm coming. Um, and to see how they react in a real life based scenario training. So what we want to do is we want to move the dogs from learning how to bite on a bite tug, learning how to bite a bite sleeve, doing a full blown suit to we start removing that equipment. We start removing the suit, removing the sleeve and go to a hidden sleeve and then muzzle training. So we want to go from teaching the dog to work on all the equipment to taking the dog off of the equipment and then we want to put the dogs in a real life scenario based training so that's what we're doing right now and we're about to head out and we're about to surprise Neela and Sasha in a minute house we're gonna suit up we're gonna go through the side door we're gonna mess with the handle a little bit to uh, draw suspicions to the dogs before we enter and then uh, once we feel like that there's some kind of level of suspicions that the dogs have <clears throat> have suspected then we're gonna go ahead and enter and then we're going to see what they do so this is called civil o only thing different is we're gonna actually use a suit this time instead of a, a hidden sleep because we want to be safe the dogs first time and it's two dogs so we don't want to uh, put too much pressure and, and someone gets injured or dogs or me. So this time we're just going to use the suit, but this is what we're about to do. Good girls, 
body or finding a dog that's biting you for real for a live bite when they're gonna be uh when their anger level their aggression level is gone this is That's what happens when you challenge a dog, the difference in a dog just biting the sleeve because you tell them to, or a dog trying to defend their owner and their handler in their home, is that that's the level of bite that goes through the sleeve, the suit, and the power and the aggression. So that's something to think about when you're training with your dogs. If you and your friends are just doing it for fun, the dogs might not bite as hard, but if they're doing it to protect you and the family, they're gonna bite extremely hard. All right, so nutshell, that is the home invasion that we did. Um, I got bit in the back, I got bit in the arm. Still feel kind of sore from the bites. The dogs a bit harder during the bite. The dogs were more aggressive. Uh, they were defending their territory. So um, the civil protection training is where you have to lean to eventually when you're training your dogs. You can't always be in the field and be out in the open and everything's great. You gotta kind of move them into a real life scenario because that is what they're training for. They're training to protect you and your home. So you wanna kind of start moving in that direction. Pretty awesome training, did awesome. The dogs were great, Amber was great. So um, that's in a nutshell of, of, of protection training when it comes to home invasion and protecting property you can do it with a vehicle you can do it with so many other things but i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video you guys keep watching madison bell y'all have a good one <laughs>